two different and practical ways on how can we use the F4 key in Excel to lock a reference. We're going to see here two different examples. The first one is the easiest one, and the second one is a little bit hard to solve the task. But you're going to see step by step how can we do it, these two different ways on how and why should we use the F4 key to lock a reference in Excel. Let's start here with the first example where I have basically a sales report, but I have here a different problem, such as, for example, let's start with the, the columns that I have. That is date, product, SKU, quantity, price in dollars, and price in euros. And here's the problem. I basically need to take all the prices here in each one of the, the rows that I have and convert from dollars to euros. How can I do it? I simply can maybe take here the conversion rate, the number that represents the conversion from dollars to euros, and take this number here and apply in a simple math, such as equal sign, the dollar value times the conversion number, okay? And then enter, that's it. So today, $59.30 is equal to 55.94 euros. I can do it through this conversion number. But take a look here if I want to do it again to the second row. Or I can either equal sign, select the value of the dollar times the number of conversion to euros and then enter. I can do it all over again. Or I can maybe automate this task because if I do all the time manually, it's going to take me a long time because here I have a bunch, a lot of different rows. So I can't do it all, all day. I, I haven't all day to do it. So maybe the, the best idea here is to click here in this cell. But I already did the math, dollar, dollar value times the euro conversion number, and then click here in the down right corner of the cell, double click maybe, double click here to make sure, double click, one, two, all the rows now contain the same formula. But here we have a problem, as you guys can see, all the rows here, all the cells are basically blank with just this little hyphen within. Why this happen? Because if you double click in any cell right here, for example, one, two, as you guys can see, the reference of the dollar value it's going to be, it's dragging down as long as with the, the reference of the formula, okay? And the same thing is going to happen with the reference of the, the euro conversion, for example. So if I click hold and drag down a function or a formula, all the reference is going to follow along. It can, be a, it can be a good thing when we are talking about this column here to the left, because yeah, we actually need to this reference move down, but here, this reference right here, where we have the value, the conversion to from dollar to euro, I need to fix this reference. I don't want you to this reference move down. So how can I do it using the F4 key to lock the reference? And so let's take a look here. How can we do it? I'm going to step back to the first cell where I did the first formula, one, two, to open the cell. I'm going to select here just this I2 reference or the reference where I have the, the number conversion from dollars to euro and then i select the number f4 key that way as you guys can see i just added here the dollar sign before the column and the dollar sign before the row this means even e either the row and the column is going to be fixed in the position and yeah this is what i need and one interesting fact here if you continue to press the f4 key you can see that the dollar sign is changing the position you have here the dollar sign before the column, the dollar sign before the row, or the dollar sign before the row and before the column. I'm going to stay with this first option right here, okay? Two dollar signs. Two lock, complete the cell. Enter. Now we're going to, again, double click here in the downward corner of the cell, one, two, and yeah, that's it. We're done. If I double click in any cell, one, two, as you guys can see, the, the price column, the reference continues to move down. This is what we need. But the reference, where we have the conversion number, the rate, from dollar to euros stay in the same position yes it's correct this is what i need to do okay so we're done here with this first example this is how we can fix a reference in excel and it's also why it's important to fix a reference in excel through the f4 key now here in the second example we have maybe something a little bit different and more complicated uh, here i basically have taxes by region on product sales i have a lot of different products right here also the price without taxes and now in the next columns here i have north northeast 
Midwest, Southeast, and South. Each one of these regions has a different tax rate, 1.15, 1.08, 1.23, 1.20, 1.15. I need to take this value without taxes and then put the taxes uh, dependent on the region that are going to sell this product. For example, if I take this first value right here for the north region, it's going to be equal sign the value here to the left without taxes times 1.15. Enter. Okay, this is the correct value. Then if I take another example, this cell right here, it's going to be equal sign this value to the left times the northeast, for example. Enter, and I'm done. But look, I have here a lot of different cells. I can't do it manually because it's going to take me a long time, so I need to find a way to automate this task or to cope and paste the formula, and that's it. I can do it through the F4 key. So let's see how can we do it, actually. Equal sign, this value to the left, times this value up here, north. Enter. If I maybe... Control C to cope. Select all the cells. Control V. I'm gonna have here maybe some problems, maybe errors, as you guys can see. I can double click in any cell here, one, two, and yeah. I have this red reference and also this blue reference. But the problem is this header reference right here needs to be in this first row where I have the tax rate. And this blue cell right here needs to stay to the left where I have the price without taxes. How can I make this happen all the time in all the cells that I have? Doesn't matter the cell. How can I lock this reference? So let me delete everything here. Read it off the values and then let's do it again, but now in a correct way. Equal sign, I'm going to select first the price without taxes that is here to the left. Now I'm going to press the F4 key. But the problem with this F4 key that I just pressed one time or dollar sign before the column and dollar sign before the row is, it's going to lock the position. It's not going to move down. Here, in this situation right here, the price without taxes, I need the, the price, the value to move down. So how can I do it? Just move down. I can lock the column, column C, because I don't want to move. I, I just want you the value stay in the column C. I don't want you the value go to the column D or the column E or column F and so on and so on. I need to stay in the column C. So I'm going to let the dollar sign just before the column C. I'm going to read it off the second dollar sign. Or if you if you want, you can just do it pressing the dollar the F4 key again and again. That way you can see the dollar sign is going to move and change the position. Okay, like this. Now times the text that I have just up here. And again, F4 key, F4 key, that's it. Now instead of let the dollar sign before the column, I'm going to let the dollar sign before the row. Why? because I want you to fix the reference in the row number four, the fourth row of the spreadsheet. It needs to stay in this row. It doesn't matter if it's going to take the reference of the column D or the column E or the column F or so on, so on. It doesn't matter for me, but it needs to stay in the row number fourth, in the fourth row. Enter. Now again, Control C, select everything, Control V, that's it. So we done. Let me click here on any cell, Maybe this one right here, one shoe, and as you guys can see, the reference is perfectly aligned with what we need. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to use the F4 key to lock a reference in Excel uh, through these different practical ways. Lock, fix the entire cell, row and column, or fix just the row or just the column. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know, comment down below, and I see you tomorrow as everybody has a new video. I see you there.